Another notion that we're going to be using quite a bit in this course because it's going to make our lives easier is the notion of a matrix. And in short, a matrix is just a rectangular grid of numbers. It's got a number of rows and a number of columns, and in each entry of that grid we put a number. So right here, this 230 minus 151 is a 2 by 3 matrix. Two rows and three columns. We always put rows before columns. The matrix we can also think of it as being made up of vectors we could think of this particular matrix for example as being made up of three column vectors like so or we could instead think of it as being made up of three row vectors or two row vectors like so and using matrices is going to be very convenient shorthand for several types of things we want to talk about for functions of several variables a column vector and a row vector are just special types of matrices. There are particularly thin matrices that we could think of as a vector or particularly long matrices that we could think of as a vector instead. And when we talk, for example, about the chain rule and stuff like that, these notions are going to be particularly important. And here's an example of taking this matrix and breaking it down into its components, two row vectors and three column vectors, like I specified.